bring in uh, Nella Richardson. She's the chief economist at ADP. It's great to have you here as well. What jumps out to you from this headline? Well, first of all, Steve did a great job breaking down the numbers. I'll start with what we think. We blame it on the weather, Kelly. This was a reference week, and one of the, the similar factors between the NER and the BLS is that we look at the same reference week that includes the 12th day of the month. On that particular week, we saw flooding in California, ice storms in the East Coast and in the Midwest. And so basically, a lot of the jobs that are done outside those sectors saw weakness. So we saw it in construction, natural resources. We saw it in trade and transportation. And there's where the weather effect is showing up. But when we look at the broader month, hiring showed strength. In fact, we're seeing a pattern that mirrors last December and November. So I wouldn't get caught up in this weather story of the reference week. The broader month shows a sound trend. And if you need evidence of that, look at that leisure and hospitality number. That has been the stalwart of the jobs report for the better part of a year. And it continues to be strong, even when there was extreme weather. Although, Steve, leisure and hospitality is offer a, often a lower earning part of the labor market as well. So you have to wonder if that will keep kind of bringing down median wage uh, gains. I think it's been going the other way. Uh, and hmm. Neela also did a great job breaking down her numbers. So right back at you, Neela. Um, so uh, it, it, you have had, uh, Kelly, uncharacteristically, some strong wage gains. In fact, I, I think, Neela, I'm going to toss this to Neela because she has data down there. But in general... We have had some strong wage gains at the bottom of the pay scale throughout this uh, jobs recovery as businesses have had to pay up to get people to go to work. And I didn't look at the uh, breakdown of the wage data. Maybe Neela has that. I do. I do. And it's a great thing to point out. Look, most of the jobs that were lost in that terrible pandemic six-week period when the U.S. economy <clears> lost <throat> 20 million jobs, most of those jobs were low-paying service jobs. And it was very difficult to get people backed into those jobs. And so what we've seen is double-digit wage gains for wow. several months now that are starting to slow in leisure and hospitality, but are still high. And so that 7.3% that represents sectors that move very little, except, and this is interesting to note, information technology. It was the only sector that we saw a sizable dip in January. So it ties into what we're hearing from tech about a slowdown in hiring. But overall, Wages have gone up a lot, especially at the low pay part of the distribution, but they, they're starting to steady and sideline at this higher rate. And in this case, 7.3% for workers who's, who've kept the same job for the better part of a year. Uh, Kelly, we had our uh, CFO c council meeting uh, yesterday, and uh, mm. we're starting to hear from these folks who are running companies that the edge is off uh, the, uh, the hiring uh, uh, panic, I guess, if you want to say. Uh, that they have to offer a little bit less. It seems like um, we don't know this for sure, and it may be early days to call it, Kelly, but if you can imagine you have demand and supply on one side and you need a new equilibrium rate, rate of pay in order to have these two things meet, it feels like we're getting a little bit closer, and maybe the neutral or the unchanged month-to-month uh, uh, -month change in, in wage growth in the ADP report, which is still high, by the way, but perhaps we're getting closer to that point, which is the one that uh, uh, Powell keeps emphasizing of getting demand for labor and supply of labor back into uh, sync. And that's going to come at a price. And maybe with what Neil is saying, that you have this uh, edging off here uh, uh, of some of the wage gains at the lower end of the sector, uh, maybe we're getting closer there.